Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for joining us for our annual Small Business Day. Congratulations to all the award recipients. It's great to see you all here today. It's also great to see uh, Bob Nelson from the US SBA Mass uh, District Gothic, the director. Thank you very much for joining us, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you all to Align Credit Union, our title sponsor for today. It's great to see Kendall Rossi here at the head table as well, and also our chairman, Mike Sullivan. So thank you all for joining us. I just want to go over a couple of quick programs for you. The Merrimack Valley Chamber, as you know, has over 100 in-person programs each and every year, and we have a number of great programs coming up for you. First one I want to mention uh, is next week we have a couple free opportunities for you. We have a game and a mixer at the uh, New Hampshire Manchester Fisher Cats. There's an opportunity to sign up for that next Tuesday, and then the very next day we have a multi chamber mixer at uh, Misslewood Events in Beverly. If you'd like to sign up for either of those events, you can do so on our chamber calendar at MerrimackValleyChamber.com. A couple other great programs coming up on Wednesday, June 22nd. We have a uh, <coughs> Anatomy of a Cyber Breach webinar. Our friends from Norwood Insurance will be hosting us for that. They will have uh, speakers from the FBI speaking on a very important subject. Everyone has to face this issue right now, which is cyber breach. And now I remember a cyber breach. That's all coming up on Wednesday, June 22nd for a lunch and learning webinar. On also Wednesday, June 22nd, it's a two day, two, two event and one day event. Uh, the next event will be at Link Countertops for an evening business networking mixer. You'll be seeing Link Countertops later today. Uh, who will be receiving an award. If you have not been to Link yet, it's amazing in there. The showroom is, is breathtaking, and we look forward to being there for our mixer on June 22nd, 5 to 7 p.m. Another free opportunity for you, obviously staffing is an issue for all of your businesses right now, as we know. Uh, the Merrimack Valley Chamber will be hosting a vocational and trade jobs uh, breakfast program at Maria's in Haverhill. We'll be having the superintendent uh, director, John LaVoy from Gray Lawrence Tech School, and also the superintendent, uh, Maureen Lynch from Whittier to Bo Tech. They'll be both speaking at Maria's and Haverhill. Free program, free breakfast program, free registration, as we view it as a very important program for each and every one of your business on Friday, June 24th. On Tuesday, Tuesday June 28th, as I mentioned, we have an evening networking mixer at Link Countertops coming up. We also have a morning breakfast program in July coming up at Spark Fitness. But on June 28th, we have our uh, monthly network and noon luncheon. This will be coming up at Wang's Table in Haverhill. So if you can't make it in the morning, you can't make it in the evening, we have the afternoon covered for you all. So we look forward to seeing you then, June 28th at Wang's Table. And then the last thing I want to mention here today is that on Monday, July 18th, we'll be having our annual golf tournament. We'll be taking place at the Indian Ridge Golf and Country Club on Monday, July 18th. The spots are filling up quick for that, so if you have not registered yet, we urge you to do so as soon as possible, and sponsorship is also open for that program as well. So again, thank you all for joining us. Last thing I want to say is that we are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube, so if you don't follow us yet, make sure to do so. And if you want to give us a shout out today as, we, as well, we appreciate that as well. But again, congratulations to all the small businesses here today. It's great to see you all. It's great to work with you all throughout the entire year, but it's great to be able to recognize you and honor you today. So thank you all. I think Michael deserves another round of applause. First, let me say thank you to all of you because this is an astounding turnout for small business. And I want to tell you what I thought of this morning when I get up about 3.30, which I do. I went outside and I said, what a beautiful day. And you know what, I, and I don't know why I thought of this, I said, Thank you, veterans. If you're a veteran, raise your hand and give us your round of applause. I want to recognize some of the elected officials that took the time to come here. Some are here, still here. Some have had to leave to go to other events. But please welcome from the city of Haverhill, Mayor James Farantini, the longest serving mayor in the city. And then some of our state representatives, Representative Linda Dean Campbell, Representative Wynn, Representative Minicucci, Representative Robertson, Representative Moran, and Representative Devis. Give them a round of applause. And our state senators, Senator Zoglio and Senator Feingo, give them a round of applause. Representing the, the city of Methuen Mayor, who is unable to be here today, is Jack Wilson, the city's economic development director. Welcome, Jack. And we have two, the, candidate, the chamber does not endorse uh, any candidate, but we have two candidates for office. 
Uh, Sal DeFranco was a Senate candidate. Sal is over here. And Eunice Ziegler, the Senate candidate for the other district. Give her a round of applause. I want to recognize the, um, well, I call him the chairman of the board. You may know him as the former mayor of the city of Lawrence, but he's our chairman. Please welcome um, Michael Sullivan, who's going to give a few words and greetings on behalf of the chamber. Well, good morning, everyone. And um, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce Board of Directors, uh, congratulations to all the uh, award recipients. And uh, for everyone that's here, we want you to have an enjoyable experience. But I want to also recognize, if you're on the Board of Directors for this Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce, raise your hands, please. All right, how about a round of applause for your directors that work together with, the, with Joe and his team to make all these wonderful events throughout the year work. And um, I want to congratulate Joe and Michael and the staff again for, for uh, connecting with all of you and putting together events like this that are so important. And I always say, if you're a, a new company, a small company, or an old existing company, you need to link in with the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce, because this is really where all the economy begins and we all become family. So thank you all for being here, and thank you all to the Board of Directors for all the work you do. So thank you. Thank you. Let me tell you an initiative the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce is working together on. Uh, Michael Sullivan is spearheading it. Uh, you all recall, unfortunately, the death of the uh, U.S. Marine that was killed in Afghanistan, Johani. Uh, the Chamber, her wish, correct me if I'm wrong, Michael, her wish was that she would be able to provide for her family and that they would have their first house that they would own. Unfortunately, she never made it back to make that a fulfillment, but uh, the family was able to purchase a house. But they have no funds to actually rehab the house. So what Michael is leading up, an effort in the chamber, obviously, is we're using all its resources. We are raising funds. We're asking for donations of supplies or equipment or your time to fully rehab the house so that this family will move in to a completely rehabbed house, debt-free. And there should be an email that's gone out today, I believe, again, asking for any assistance you can provide. But it's simply a way of saying thank you to someone that just simply is not able to come back and participate. So I said that correctly, Michael. And the uh, house is in Lawrence, and the family is, every time we meet with a family, they thank us. And it's amazing. I can't get the mother to stop saying thank you. Am I right? And it's just a you know, really sad thing. But uh, if you can help in any way, shape, or manner, call the chamber, contact us, and 100% of the funds, plus we're kicking in a few bucks ourselves, will go into this house. So thank you. I also want to mention uh, the United Way, with the chamber's actively involved in helping those that are in need. There's an upcoming food and diaper drive in Haverhill coming up on June 18th at Central Plaza at Market Basket. The chamber will do probably seven or eight in conjunction with the United Way in the course of this year. Uh, we want to say thank you to our sponsor, Align Credit Union. Ken Del Rossi is also treasurer of the board of directors, but please welcome the president of Align, or you could, I just pass you the mic if you like, Ken. Uh, Align Credit, give them a round of applause. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, congratulations to all. It's, uh, the Line Credit Union is very, very proud to be the sponsor of this event. Very proud. We've been, Joe, we've been sponsored for a few years. Yes. Now. You, you started the program with us. I think that it's true. small business as a foundation within the United States of America is more important now than it's ever been. And it's always been. Always in the backbone of business. But we've been taking we've been taking the chin for the last two and a half years. So it's our time now. It's our time to come back and show everybody what we can do. Because we want our platform. Congratulations to all. And I want to recognize Sophia from Congresswoman Laura Charan's office. Give her a round of applause. Let me um let me tell you. The most important federal agency, in my opinion, in this last year or two has been the United States Small Business Administration. Every, literally every single small business person we spoke with 
either applied for or received the PPP loan, an idle loan, a restaurant recovery loan, and a host of other activities, in addition to the regular SBA programs. The Chamber is very, very fortunate that we have the absolute best SBA director in the country, and I say that publicly a hundred times a day, because Bob Nelson is the best. Let me tell you what happened today. <laughs> Can I tell you we were in Texas? Sure. So Bob, Bob was in Texas at a conference uh, that he had to attend, and he said, Joey, I'm just nervous because in case the flight gets canceled, I won't be able to be there. I said, Bob, you've got to be here. You're the speaker. And sure enough, before I got here, Bob Nelson was here. But that's typical of Bob Nelson. Whenever we ask Bob to come, Bob is there, or Lisa Gonzalez Welch, the economic development specialist for our region. Our chamber has utilized the SBA services literally without a doubt every single week. And whenever we ask the SBA for help or a clarification, Bob Nelson is there. That was, that's what's made the difference. Um, we dealt with a company this morning um, who is in real difficulty. They not only spoke to Bob, they also spoke to the Merrimack Valley Economic Development Corporation, representatives right over there, and we're trying to help. That's what we do. Quietly behind the scenes, the person was being discussed today. You didn't know he was here, but he's in real difficulty. Everyone else gave up on him, but not the Merrimack Valley Chamber, not the SBA, and not the Merrimack Valley Economic Development Corporation. They deserve a round of applause for that, to trying to help. So, Bob is going to uh, give you some discussion about the SBA, the importance of small business. There is no one, and I mean this in all sincerity, think about it. PPP, IDLE, Restaurant Recovery, and a host of other programs. He'll give you 7A, 7B, 7D, 18, 18C, <laughs> all, those, all those numbers and acronyms. But without a doubt, what kept the economy of not just the Merrimack Valley, but the state and the country alive during this pandemic was this three-letted group called the SBA. And in Massachusetts, we're so fortunate that Bob Nelson leads us. Give a round of applause to our friend, Bob Nelson. Good morning, everyone, and thank you, Joe, for that very kind introduction. Uh, if anyone has ever been to Houston, Texas, uh, uh, think of it as America's sauna. <laughs> so, <laughs> it was uh, almost 100 degrees every day uh, with humidity. I was never so glad to be back in Logan in Massachusetts last night. But, but uh, one of the cool things that I got to do last uh, last couple of days was to meet SUNY Williams, uh, one of NASA's astronauts who's from Massachusetts. And she is actually uh, one of the astronauts that had the longest uh, time on spacewalks as a female astronaut and also the most uh, spacewalks as a female astronaut here from Massachusetts, but but extremely cool. But but uh, it, when she was giving a talk to us uh, down at the SBA conference, she mentioned how she ran the Boston Marathon from space, and it was with the help of Dave McGilvery, who's the Boston Marathon race director. So I, I was very fortunate to have Dave as a keynote at a, an SBA award recently. But but just a, a small world, but very cool. Uh, but but Joe, uh, it, thank you for the opportunity to be with you, and I I, I mean this in all sincerity. And uh, you know you have the strongest advocate uh, for and small business supporter with Joe Bevilacqua in the chamber. Over the last uh, two plus years, I've been on. Uh, weekly and then monthly calls with Secretary Keneally, and I can tell you that Joe, absolutely the first uh, one to advocate and to bring up issues affecting the businesses here in the Merrimack Valley. So, uh, how about giving it up for Joe Bevilacqua, but the entire team? But personally, it, it's so nice to, to be back out in person, and I'm sure for many of you, like me, uh, this is all welcome as we get back to the new normal. Uh, while we've all gotten very good at Zoom and virtual meetings, uh, nothing can take the place of looking someone in the eye and shaking their hand. Uh, but uh, it, it just really is wonderful uh, as we get back to the important work uh, that uh, we need to do. But, uh, but I, I want to echo the congratulations to all of the awardees today. I, I've been attending this event for many, many years now. 
And I, I, it's one of my favorite events. And again, I say this in all sincerity, I get to hear from amazing small business champions and advocates in the small businesses themselves and what you're doing to build vibrant communities. It, it, you know, so it, it really is my honor to be with all of you and to applaud all of the small businesses today. But, but uh, as was mentioned today, I was going through the list of the awardees and you know, there are uh, entities out there uh, getting recognized today who you normally wouldn't think of receiving SBA assistance we're talking about nonprofits, and uh, uh, but the, lots of different small businesses, and I, I, uh, you know, Veterans Northeast Outreach Center, you know, a PPP loan, uh, Notre Dame Cristo Rey High School, a PPP loan, uh, Boston Lasers, Greater Lawrence Community Action Council, and the, and the list goes on as far as all of these entities who receive some help from the SBA. And what I can tell you is that the SBA, we're a small agency, you know, with uh, myself, there are uh, 11 people in Massachusetts on the ground. And when you hear some of the numbers that I'll share with all of you, it, it really is amazing what we've been able to deliver uh, with the SBA. But, but uh, thinking back over the last uh, you know, two years, uh, 26 months, nine in 10 small businesses and firms sought help, an emergency help from the federal government. Uh, and that is through, uh, you know, the PPP, the IDLE, the RRF, the SBOGS, but as our regular loan programs. But, but when you really think of it, nine in ten, it, it's it's just an amazing uh, st stat. And so, uh, the some of the numbers that I wanted to share with you, as far as uh, 21, uh, it absolutely was a historic year for the SBA, uh, both nationally and here in Massachusetts. And. I, I am not shy about saying this over and over again when, whenever I'm talking to people that, uh, you know, while, while the SBA was the federal agency that was tapped to deliver these, it really is only with the help of a lot of people, you know, uh, community organizations, lenders like Align uh, Credit Union, but I, I know that there are other bankers and lenders here in the room, but, but community partners. It was everyone coming together in order to save the economy. And I, I absolutely believe that to my core, as far as the phone calls and the emails that I received over the last two plus years, as far as you saved my business without the SBA, I would not be here. And it really is humbling, but, but you know, SBA has resource partner network, our formal network, uh, the SCORE organization, our small business development centers, our women's centers, our veteran business outreach center. You know, we did over 22,000 uh, small business counseling and training. It was all done virtually. You know, pretty amazing how we needed to learn and to pivot. But uh, with the SBA traditional loan programs, we did over a billion dollars. That's not recovery loans. This is our regular loan programs, and this is just Massachusetts. And so through our guarantee program, our 504 program. But when you talk about recovery programs, over 21 billion dollars in PPPs, seven billion in idle loans, economic injury disaster loans. Uh, over 360 million in uh, SVOGs, shuttered venues, operators grants, in order to try to help those museums and cultural institutions and live stages. But uh, RRFs, we did close to a um, billion dollars. You know, when you combine all that, and again, this is just Massachusetts, 30 billion dollars. And the SBA nationwide, we did a little bit over a trillion dollars uh, with our recovery programs. And, uh, you know, I, I've heard some people, you know, you know, talking about, uh, you know, inflation and trying to point to these dollars as the, the cause of the inflation that we're experiencing. We know that this is a problem uh, for all of us that we're going through this, but, but what I believe is that without the dollars that, and no one knew what was happening and where things were going as things were progressing, and if we did not do what we did, we would not be here right now. I absolutely believe that. Uh, but, uh, but you know, PPP forgiveness, you know, uh, those were loans. The, the intent was that they would turn into grants. 
We're now at 88% of the way through where those loans have uh, been uh, either fully or partially forgiven. So we are almost uh, totally with that in the rearview mirror. Uh, but there's lots of things that we're working on uh, for uh, getting back uh, into the groove in, with our regular loan programs and our regular loan efforts. For, so. Uh, trust me when I say that there are new uh, tools on the horizon and recent things that we've recently announced. So, you know, we are back at it. Uh, but uh, I just want to quickly mention uh, the COVID idle program uh, that has ended. And whenever a, uh, a program ends, the music stops. There are some businesses that unfortunately it didn't get fully through. But, uh, you know, you heard me mention over $7 billion in Massachusetts. But but what we're currently doing is just finishing up that program with trying to close the loans that had been obligated and approved and getting them uh, to the funding stage. So it, we're in the last throes of all of that. But, but uh, um, th this time of year is absolutely a special time of year for the SBA because you know May uh, is uh, Small Business Month and very happy and honored that Governor Baker announced May as Small Business Month uh, for the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. But, uh, you know, when I think of uh, what small businesses have done, uh, what you've been able to accomplish, uh, I, I, again, it, it's why I absolutely wanted to make sure that I was here to uh, be able to meet with and to uh, shake your hand and to congratulate all of you because you've been through hell, uh, but you've, uh, you know, uh, surviving and taking care of your employees like family, it's just really, really important. But, but uh, you know, I, I'm getting to the, uh, the end, Joe, don't worry. But, uh, but, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, you know, Small Business Week for the SBA is a huge deal. And, you know, so I, I want to talk just about one of our awardees uh, who was the Massachusetts Small Business of the Year, uh, Greg Asira from Fire King uh, Baking Company down in Braintree. And what SBA does is, you know, all the states, there's the nomination process and it goes through um, a vetting and, and a review. And, and so uh, Greg ended up uh, being the top uh, business for the Massachusetts Small Business of the Year. And then they, they compete with all the other states for the top prize of being the National Small Business of the Year. And Greg was the national runner up. So, so when you think of him competing against the best of the best from all of these other states, and uh, he, he should have won, <laughs> but uh, to be the national runner-up, just amazing. And I, I share his story just because Greg started off his business 25 years ago in a old abandoned garage, gas station. Two bays, you know, the typical thing, two bays, you know, office uh, on the side. That's where he started his bakery 25 years ago. He is now over 400 employees, close to $50 million in sales. And it was a simple product, you know, good bread. That, that was, that's what he wanted to do and to deliver. And he's been able to work this and grow this. And, but Greg started his business and he talks about, uh, you know, seven people in his family living in one room in Dorchester when he grew up. And I share this because it is the story of the American dream. And, and uh, it's really a big reason why we do what we do is because uh, at the SBA, it's because of the power of entrepreneurship and the, the power of what is possible uh, with that dream and that vision and hard work. But, you know, what we're seeing right now uh, with Small Business Starts America is uh, experiencing unprecedented wave of entrepreneurship and new business creation under the Biden-Harris administration. More Americans are starting new businesses than ever before last year. Americans applied to start 5.4 million new businesses, 20% more than any year on record. And small businesses are absolutely creating more jobs than ever before. So. It's just a testament to all the small businesses who are here today, uh, to those early businesses. Uh, uh, but, you know, I'm going to close with just one uh, quote by Albert Einstein, very quick. And it goes, imagination is everything. It's the preview of life's coming attractions. Imagination is more important than knowledge. 
so this is from, he wasn't talking about small business, but you can think of how this translates to small business. And I've seen this over and over again, as far as the power of the imagination and the vision that small businesses have and what they're able to accomplish. They are the innovators, the job creators. And, uh, you know, so again, uh, kudos to all of you. And again, Joe, my pleasure and honor to be with all of you, but congratulations. <laughs> We are, all kidding aside, we are so fortunate we have Bob Nelson as the Massachusetts Director and we continue to work closely with the SBA and we'll go forward. We'd like to uh, now get into the award program. So what I'll do is I will read the award. Uh, I'll introduce the award recipient. They'll come forward. Michael will present you with a plaque and uh, you get to say thank you. And then we're going to go on because we've, we have a number of award recipients. But first of all, give a Renaissance Golf Club a round of applause. Did they do a great job? We couldn't fit any more people in the room. We tried, they wouldn't let us because they said we're filled. And so Michael said another note saying we're sold out and that's so important because small business is the backbone of what we do and you'll hear more. I just want to mention, you'll see some banners up here. The reason why Young People in Business Banner is not up is because we just held the Next Generation Leaders Conference about a week ago and those awards were already received but the next one will be coming will be our Women in Business Program and then our Veterans Conference will be coming up as well. So, in the Business Assistance category, please welcome our friends at the Merrimack Valley Planning Commission and the Merrimack Valley Economic Development Corporation. Please come forward, one of you or both. You want to get these out? Kenny, Michael? Do you, one of you want to say hello or thank you or? Quick. <laughs> Thanks so much, Joe, and uh, good morning, everyone. Merrimack Valley Planning Commission is happy to have played a small part in the ongoing recovery post pandemic. You know, when the pandemic first started, we saw a real need for business assistance, in particular, small business assistance. And uh, we also saw an opportunity through our federal partner, the Economic Development Administration to apply for grant funding to provide some of that much needed help. And it's through our community and economic development program and the Robertson's efforts that we were able to secure $260,000 to establish what's called MB Strong. And it is a free small business technical assistance program. Uh, we've helped over 240 businesses in the past year and a half. You can uh, access uh, the application and more information about uh, MB Strong at our website, wearemb.com. And I uh, also want to thank Joe and Mike uh, for being such terrific partners in our economic development efforts. Really appreciate all you bring to the table, and uh, thank you for this award. Thank you. Thank you all. And in addition to the Chamber Award they're getting, there are also legislators, legislators who have given them citations. That's what you're seeing in their hand as well. So thank you again. The next award for business assistance is this is critically important is the Veterans Northeast Outreach Center Incorporated. They provide assistance to veterans and veterans families, something that's so critically important today. Please welcome the Veterans Northeast Outreach Center. Good morning. I'd like to say thank you to the Chamber, Joe, Mike, and the directors. Obviously, cannot do it without your support. And the SBA, Bob, we wouldn't have survived without that loan. There's no way. So, our veterans would have suffered if we had to lay off staff. And because of that loan, our veterans were able to receive services, which is the best thing. It's not so much about the employees that work for us, but it's about our veterans and being able to provide the services that they need. Mayor Ferentini, thank you for your support. The city of Haverhill has been tremendous. We can we can't do it without you either. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. The chamber is actively involved with uh, promoting cultural tourism activities, hospitality industry here in the Merrimack Valley. We want to recognize two award recipients under the cultural tourism category. The first, our friends at Stevens Coolidge Place. No, 
don't have to come around. Okay. Right. Whatever you yeah, yeah. Thank you. You want to say thank you? Yeah, sure. Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much to the Chief of Commerce. And yeah, please come visit the Chief of Coolers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dane is not really soon. Is Dane still here? The next, we have, we've had several events at this location. It's uh, the Wamasset Lanes. Please welcome Wamasset Lanes, and they are here, and they also have a raffle prize. There they come. So one of, you, one of you can say thank you as you're walking to get the award. And then you're going to pick the award recipient. Good morning, everybody. Thank you. Have a great way to start the day. I know everybody in this room is um, <laughs> uh, what a great turnout. Isn't it great? Amazing. Well, so you've been with the rest, now you're with the best. Yes, yes. So we, we brought something fun today. Okay. And uh, Janelle, our marketing director, is going to pick the winner. All right. Our Wamaset swag bag with a nice gift to check inside. We're done with that, right? Okay. Trisha. Stick it under here. Hey, right here. Thank you so much, and we'll be back. Thank you. In the next category, Discovery Education, our friends at Middlesex Community College. I know you're here. here. The chamber is act thank you so much. The chamber actively involved with with education, helping kids to continue to advance into that career of their choice. We want to recognize the next recipient, the Notre Dame Crystal Ray High School. And if you're an award recipient, please stay because we're going to take a group photo, which you want to be part of. That is one for Say a brief thank you. Brief. <laughs> no, not as bad as you, Joe. Not as bad as me. Um, yeah, so uh, I just want to say thank you. Uh, I love my job. I uh, recruit companies that can hire our students. And that can be pretty hard at times, but if it wasn't for the chamber and the help of uh, Joe and Mike, it would be a lot harder. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. In the environmental category, the chamber is actively involved in, in the energy issues and the environment, and you'll see an energy environmental conference coming forward. Uh, the secretary had resigned recently, so that put us back, but you'll see more of that, but we're actually involved with the clean energy program as well as other initiatives to reduce your operating costs. Please welcome someone that can help you reduce your costs. Revise, Inc., Joe DePietro. What? He's also the Petro Heating and Cooling. Um, you know, just like everybody here, we're all small businesses. Uh, the SBA uh, was uh, pivotal in you know, keeping us afloat. Uh, we were shut down for over 100 days, and uh, you know, without that, it probably would have really hurt a lot. So uh, kept us alive and kept us going. So uh, Merrimack Valley also, great partners, great support with everything they do. Thank you, Joe. This is an issue which you don't even know about right now, but in the few days your state has banned 
certain materials from being put out in the trash, such as textiles and mattresses. But luckily, there's a Merrimack Valley Chamber member that has already been involved in mattress recycling. Please, this is all true. Please welcome UTEC. Are they here? We're out uh, recycling more mattresses, but uh, we will send them the reward. But that's true. You're going to see there's more restrictions coming of what you can put out in the recycling bin. Textiles, mattresses. I listened to Mr. Mayor. He told us all about it. So thank you all. Um, please welcome in the health care division. This is an issue which is continuing to grow as our population is aging, um, which is a good thing. Uh, we need great quality health care providers and assistance. Please welcome our friends at the Baker Cat Skill Nursing and Rehab Facility in Haverhill. And just so you know how important each and every one of your businesses is, there's a small organization called the Boston Celtics that are members of your Chamber of Commerce. I didn't know if you knew that or not. Okay, very important, continue to be stay healthy and provide opportunities for you at a time that's convenient for you with all different types of sport activities and healthcare activities and exercising. Please welcome my friends in Andover, Spark Fitness and Tennis Club. There is so much creating today, so much creativity that we can't keep track of the new things that are happening and new ways of doing things. So we've created a category called innovation. Please welcome our friends in Ainsbury, CI Works, down there. You can say thank you on the way to get your plaque. <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. We don't focus on tenants or lack of employees. We focus on employees who want to have, which is really one type of employees, the micro staff, which I think most people would say is one type of employees. Our tenants, um, you know, we were recipients of SBA loans the uh, BPW loans for about a year and a half. And we've been in the back of small companies. We also have some people who have money and so on, whether you're aware of it. So, you know, our dedication and recognition of that area is important to get on the radar, and we're actually working on an identification software package. Our business is there, and so we want to be able to expand our business and just focus there. Our real estate entity is really focused on the profitability of companies, more so than our own profitability. And I hope that other real estate entities will start thinking about you know, really working with businesses instead of doing a lot of business. So, that's pretty good. And Joe told me to be short, so I'll give you the mic back. Thank you so much. Every single restaurant or function hall or food hall that we speak with has one problem. They can't find help. So an organization right here in the Merrimack Valley took it upon themselves to address that. You'll know them as the Northern Essex Community College Culinary Arts Program. We want to say thank you. Come forward. Here you go, my friend. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chamber, for this, honor, this honorary. Um, I want to tell you all, we are open to business. We'd love to have your students. We're not full for the fall, so please, enrollments are strong right now. Please send all of your students to us in the culinary program. Thank you. Are you ready? Thank you. Longevity. Longevity is a positive term in terms of business. We want to recognize our friends 
at Align Credit Union, and I don't know who's coming up from Align. <laughs> One of you, or all of you. So say, say thank you and get your plaque. I just want to let everybody know that this year is special for Align Credit Union. We are celebrating our 100th anniversary. <laughs> We're excited to have to be strong, and we'll keep going. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, this being a boy, I'm saying, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next category, Mike, Michael and I were visiting this company at their 50th, right, Mike? 50th, 50th anniversary uh, on a Sunday, and um, we want to recognize under longevity another company that's continued on, Cody's Towing. I'm not sure if they were able to be here or not today, but give them a round of applause. Anybody from Six Speaking of new ideas, this company, they've told me three times what they do. I've been there for a tour. It is so unbelievable what they do. They're located in North Andover. It is absolutely unique, absolutely brand new. I still can't tell you what they do, though. It is so complex, but it's, the, it's what we all need. Please welcome our friends at 6K Inc. under the manufacturing category. You do. Yeah, it's, it's uh, a boil it down to simplicity. We make advanced material from the two areas that we focus on are uh, um, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, and materials for electronic vehicles and electric storage. So, what a company was that was like 12 employees uh, two or three years ago is now 150, and we're going to probably double again in the next uh, year or two. Um, it's really an exciting space to be in, obviously, as, as Joe talked about. Born and raised in Massachusetts in a community world here. We're about to open up a, a $30 million battery center of excellence that will open up in the summer and uh, continue to grow leaps and bounds. So keep an eye out for us. And that's an example of the innovation that's taken place right here in the Merrimack Valley. You want to say thank you to our friends at 6K. The next company, Boston Lasers, is unable to be here today, but you want to say thank you to Boston Lasers. They are located in Ainsbury. Give them a round of applause. You know, it's, it's very important for the uh, Merrimack Valley Chamber to be able to get its message out and to uh, just simply introduce what we do and what you all do to the, to the population around the Merrimack Valley. We want to say thank you to our media advocates. The first are the people you actually see right now filming us. Uh, you know, our cable network goes out throughout the entire Merrimack Valley, so there's, I don't know, tens, a hundred, a thousand people seeing what you do. Please welcome Lawrence Community Access Television. Say thank you on the way to getting your plaque. I want to thank the Merrimack Valley Chamber, but we couldn't do it all without this great team. See, you know that shit is high. If it wasn't for this great team behind me, we wouldn't have been able to do what we've been doing over the last two years, including expanding what we've done in public access here. You can see in North Andover, uh, obviously, my name is Thurman, Roku, Apple, and pretty soon there'll be a regionalization that will be starting up real soon with all the public access stations. Thank Thanks, you. Joe. Thank you again. Thank you again for LCTV. They're the ones that are filming again today. Our next advocate is Merrimack Valley Eats. The chamber is actively involved and continues to be involved in a program that's going to promote business in restaurants. And we had over 200, 300,000 views. Uh, it's amazing what we're able to do together with Merrimack Valley Eats. They're not able to be here today, but uh, give them a round of applause.
The chamber actively supports, we're one of the few chambers that actively supports and encourages membership with the nonprofits. They are so important to us. They do things that we don't do, but they do things that are important to the people that we work with and that work for you. Please welcome our first award recipient in the nonprofit community service category, the Greater Lawrence Community Action Council. And I know that everyone in the director is here. And friends, and friends. Welcome. And they just completed the, the most recently rehab building in downtown Lawrence. Congratulations. Our next award recipient, and again, this is another unique idea. Membership in the Merrimack Valley Chamber of Commerce provides a number of benefits to a number of organizations, and this is one that actually came forward from the club themselves. Please welcome our friends at the Kiwanis Club of Greater Lawrence. And Bob was talking about perseverance, you know, in terms of small business, and it's absolutely true that if it wasn't for organizations like the SBA helping to keep you alive, many of you would not be here today. There was an organization, and there is an organization that we're very proud to call a member of the Chamber of Commerce, that went through a very difficult period because you could not go to their facility. And yet, they stayed together. And yet, the person that's going to come up is really a good friend of ours, and, and, and she actually spoke at our Women in Business program a couple uh, a couple of weeks ago. Please welcome North Shore Music Theater, and we want you to go visit them. And welcome Karen. Thank you. Now this is another great story. The Tomaccio family. What do you think about a company that just keeps adding businesses with their family members? In fact, there's another generation that's coming forward. So please welcome our friends. We had a, a program at Stacks, that's one of their newest restaurants in Haverhill. Please welcome the Tomaccio family, accepting, I think it's Anthony, right? And the next generation. <laughs>
I remember how many businesses he has. It's just great. They keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And I can't wait for her to be in chat. We'll do some really good things then. Thank you. Diversity. The chamber, before it became popular to talk about it, the chamber was actively involved in this matter. You know, we want everyone to work together and be part of the greater Merrimack Valley economic community. Please welcome our first recipient, City Seal Coating. Chamber, um, I met this person named Eduardo Crespo, who started to tell me about the importance of the Hispanic marketplace. He was actually a visionary before people have understood the importance of the Hispanic marketplace. Please welcome my friend Edward Cor Eduardo Crespo for the Hispanic Market Solution. He will talk about his company. Eduardo was the uh, featured speaker at the Chamber of Business Expo breakfast, and we'll be doing more with Eduardo in terms of importance of reaching out to all. In the retail category, yes, there is still retail in Massachusetts. We have a unique company. And let me tell you, I've learned more and more and more about this particular company as, as time goes on. We're going to talk about a company that deals in sport card collectibles and other sport figures. Please welcome Case Hit Collectibles. Another brand new company to the Merrimack Valley. When Michael and I were invited to the, um, to the grand opening of this company, I walked in this company, I couldn't believe the stuff I was seeing, how beautiful it was and how opportune it was and how easy it was to talk to them about doing some renovations. Please welcome our friends from Andover, Link Countertops. And I encourage you all to come to our mixer, which is coming up in a few days. Two Wednesdays. So I want to thank Mike and Joe for this opportunity. I, I really appreciate it. I'm really happy to be here today. And uh, I just want to say a little bit about our um, uh, store. Um, we have three we businesses for over 15 years. Um, we started at LA Tires in Newburyport. And now we have our sister store, Link Countertops in Andover. Um, so if you guys are looking for a new countertop, please come and visit us. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Service. Service means so much to so many people. We believe our members provide the best in service. Please welcome a company that you don't want to deal with until you need them, but when you need them, you get tremendous service. Please welcome our friends at Driscoll Funeral Home, and Pat is going to be here. Downtown Haverhill, and you see on the you see the, the, the military banners, the tribute to Heroes Awards. Pat was instrumental in being part of the Exchange Cup that started that program. He's also instrumental. If you have a tattered American flag, you simply can't throw it away. Pat is instrumental in providing a safe place to return that away. Um, there are so many other things that our companies are doing in terms of the community that they never want to tell you about. But we want to recognize them because we know that if something good is happening in the Merrimack Valley communities, it's through our membership. Give them another round of applause. I know Abby's here somewhere. Another company. Oh, there he is. Uh, you all remember Politech. Or I remember Ms. Marla Mills, and you remember Ms. Politech. They went out. It was this huge building that no one knew what to do with. Well, our friends, Jatender and others, bought the building, and now they're called Indispad Exologistic. And they do some amazing things. They are absolutely amazing in terms of shipping and receiving and warehousing, and they'll do all the paperwork for you. You don't have to do anything. Please welcome Abby from Indispad Logistics. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Wrong Abby. Hmm. Wrong one. I got the right company, though. All right. Welcome. Tender for us. The next category, veteran owned. You know, for a number of years, vet, this is the biggest problem we find with veterans. They never ask for help. So what we created, with the assistance of our board members, in Sal DeFranco, re former, retired, how do I say it? Retired or former? Former. Former, former Navy SEAL, a member of our chamber board of directors, along with Cal Williams, a Marine, so I have a little conflict between the two of them, and other great companies like Brocco Oil and others have worked together to create a veterans assistance program, and you'll see a major program coming forward in the uh, fall of this year. So we created a category called Veteran Owned, and Sal DeFranco will present the award to Michael Malvers of Havel Steel, 110 Towing, and a host of other companies.
another company, another veteran-owned company. We want to recognize Merrimack Digital, Ivan Elias. Welcome, Ivan. And again, if you're an award recipient, remember we're going to take a photo after this and we're almost through the end of our awards. In the wholesale category, obviously people need to get product from somewhere. We want to recognize a food-based company. Colony Foods are the third generation of family-owned business and we want to recognize Colony Foods of Lawrence. The, other, the next award is a little bit sad because the company is physically no longer there for functions. You may remember the company known as the Burroughs, where we hold a number of programs. They are obviously closed uh, for another adventure, but they still make the world's best salad dressing. So please welcome Bobby and David DeBurro, DeBurro Salad Dressing. different beverage, we want to recognize another great company, this one located in Lawrence. We want to recognize friends at Spicket River Brewery. Come on down. Construction during the gas explosions um, at, at Rocks and Merrimack Valley, and then um, we had to find a plumber and deal with you know when you're building a brewery, you have to deal with that type of thing. That was very challenging, but then we actually opened um, just before COVID hit. We got our occupancy on December. Uh, it was Christmas Eve, 2019, when we got our occupancy, and uh, so two months later, obviously we know the rest of the story. As a business owner, you know that at some point you have to make a decision. We were down to two thousand dollars in the bank account. I had, you know, written all the checks that I thought I wanted to write for this particular project, and then we got our 
first round of PPP, $37,000, which kept us going. And then here we are today. So we'd love to have you all come join us. Ask your friends and family to come see us. And uh, let's enjoy some good times because we're going to have a lot of stories to tell. Thank you. Thank you. The, uh, thank you. And again, we encourage you to support each and every one of these businesses. Our next program award recipient, the Chamber has a very active and effective women in business program. You've seen the women in business luncheon programs, you see the women in business conference, it'll come up every year in October, and the idea is to provide assistance to women who are thinking of either growing their business, expanding their business, starting a business, they mentor one another, they give them encouragement, and they support one another. Our co-chairs are Dana DeFranco to my right from Battlegrounds Coffee Company, and Trish Sabulis from Michaud Insurance, also a member of our, our Chamber Board of Directors. Which they are gonna present the awards for two of our spectacular women in business recipients. Crispin Carboni from Carboni's Kitchen, come on down. Our next recipient is our friend Zoraida Rosado from So Much Green Innovations. Come on down. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you again. And there will be another, um, we're working on scheduling another women in business program. We've got a unique idea that you're gonna love. Uh, um, and that'll be coming up. And then the conference will be in October once we confirm the uh, Congresswoman's schedule. Uh, the next category is a special salute to family owned business. You're gonna see, this is actually gonna be accelerated next year. Michael has a new idea for family owned business. Uh, it's become so important to us that it'll become a new uh, program. Uh, by itself next year, but we want to begin. And there are so many great family-owned business stories. And it, you see the generations coming today as well, these young kids. Please welcome our first family-owned business recipient. I don't know who's coming up for it, but it's a company called AP Michaud Insurance. <laughs> Who wants the mic? <laughs> okay, tell them who you are. The next, you know, it's, it's so great when we're able to talk about, and we don't use the word a lot, but we just recognize the fact that people come here from other countries and they develop their own businesses and they employ people and they just do a tremendous job and they grow and grow and grow and grow. Please welcome our friends from Methuen at George's Bakery.
Another food-based company, a family-owned company. We want to recognize them. I'm not sure if they're here or not. I think they're making the pies. Please welcome and say thank you to Harrow's Chicken Pies. I don't believe they're here. And again, one of the things that we're finding is the diversity in family-owned businesses. Please welcome our next recipient from the family-owned business category, our friends at Omni Print. I know they're here. I want to remind you, we've got a group photo at the end. Don't leave. Here you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, my friend. And the, the Merrimack Valley Chamber is actively involved in encouraging people to shop local, stay local, eat local, and work with businesses that are right here in the Merrimack Valley. A family-owned business that continues to grow and expand and expand and expand, and we're so proud of them. Please welcome our friends, Pest N. Very small, you know, the father and the mother right there, the starters. And now they're telling me they're up to 80 employees. That's amazing. Congratulations. You know, this is um, just a great day for uh, recognizing the importance of small business. We want to say thank you to all of you because without any of you working together, with the fact we need all of you to work together to support one another, that's what makes the economy of the Merrimack Valley so strong. We want to say thank you to our friend Bob Nelson from the SBA. Give him a round of applause. Ken Del Rossi and our friends at Align Credit Union, our sponsor, give him a round of applause. <laughs> Mike Sullivan, our committee chair, our board of directors, chairman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And again, all of you, we want to say thank you to the electeds that came, the elected officials. Thank you to our friends at Renaissance. And then most importantly, remember, support small business right here in the Merrimack Valley.